nearly one years old. We're walking home. <laughs> a little bit of the asshole. Uh, we only went and bloody won, yeah. didn't we? But she didn't put it in my spine, she put it up her vagina. Welcome back to Wix Media Wix and another weekly vlog. It's Monday today and the sun has gone. <laughs> the cold weather is back so I'm wrapped up in my cosy jumper uh, just editing the weekly vlog for you guys. I washed my hair this morning, I'm on a bit of a roll already. Um, and then tonight I'm going to the gym with Lucy but that is pretty much as exciting as my Monday gets I'm afraid. I feel like I need to start planning things for Monday nights because Mondays are pretty boring. So I hope you enjoyed last week's vlog. This week is the last vlog I will be doing until I go away on my press trip, which I should be able to tell you a little bit more about on Wednesday. Um, we still don't have the itinerary yet, so it's nice and stressful for us because we, we honestly don't know what's going on either. So as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I'll be, vlog I'll be vlogging all week this week and I might do a little bit of Monday as well because that's Toby's birthday. He's one years old already. Can you believe it? Can't believe it. So uh, no doubt I'll be taking him to pets at home and giving him a few treats. But for now, I'm going to crack on with my editing and I shall catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, I was supposed to be going to the gym with Lucy. Um, it's like... 20 to 6 but I'm still working and I've got a massive headache so I thought I was just gonna have my tea now um, finish my work off and then maybe go to the gym a bit later <sighs> I'll just put my earphones in and blast it on my own even though it's nice going with her especially when we do weights and stuff together but never mind there will be other times it's just been a super super busy day Oh my goodness, so I took Toby out for a walk, came back in, um, stupidly opened my emails up and ended up having to deal with something and now it's five to nine and I still haven't gone to the gym. So um, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna go now because otherwise I'll sit on the, on the sofa, on the, sit on the telly watching the sofa. Sit on the sofa watching the telly when there's nothing really I wanna watch. I'll just be flicking through my phone and just wasting the evening. So I'm gonna go to the gym at nine o'clock at night because I'm a loser with nothing better to do on their Monday. <laughs> that was amazing. I was there for ages. I did some interval training running on the treadmill. Then I did some stretching, 20 minutes on the cross trainer. And then I went and did some weights like um, Bavarian split squats and some weighted squats and stuff. I'm still lifting quite light because of my back. I don't want to like mess anything up so I'm just going at my own pace and you do get stared at by the beefcake sometimes but especially when you're wearing bright pink <laughs> but you just gotta go with the flow and go with what feels right and just not push your body too much but make sure you still get a good workout my hair looks a very strange colour today I really need to get this sorted ah dear me so I am going to get a shower then sit in my PJs with a tub of that um a halo top protein ice cream because it's like 300 calories for the whole tub i'm not gonna eat the whole tub um but i've got some calories left over and i fancy something sweet and something refreshing because i'm so out of breath so that is what i'm gonna eat by the way as i was editing that last week <laughs> i realized that it looked very much like an advert it wasn't an advert they haven't asked me to feature it it just arrived on a very hot day and i thought i'd try it on camera and do you know what it is actually really good still haven't tried the mint chocolate chip flavor i really want to try that one so i need to hunt that down in tesco now i know that they're good uh and i'll happily spend my money on them <laughs> oh my goodness how naughty does this bowl look so i've got the chocolate ice cream the sea salt caramel ice cream um some peanut butter and a couple of marshmallows they do actually do a peanut butter flavor but they accidentally sent me tesco actually <laughs> accidentally substituted it for a hagen dazs version which kind of defeats the object of trying to have like loaf ice cream so i'm still trying to get my hands on the peanut butter one and the mint chocolate chip but oh this looks heavenly Tuesday. 
Um, oh my goodness, is that how we feel at the start of the week? How are we gonna feel by the end of it? I faked tanned last night to um, get a little bit of my holiday tan back because it's already fading. So uh, I'm gonna go wash it off in the shower in a little bit. I always use the Samaritz mousse, the medium mousse. It, I've tried loads of fake tans and this is honestly the best one that I've ever tried. It's really cheap as well and I just find that there's never any streaks. It just works wonders for me. So um, yeah, it's been a while but I racked the old fake tan out because I was just loving being tanned. So this just arrived for Toby because it's his birthday on Monday. Um, but it hasn't come with any kind of message or gift receipt or anything. I don't know who it's from. So if anybody sent Toby a birthday present, thank you very much. He clearly loves it a lot. I'm going to stick some treats in there and keep him busy with it later while I'm editing. Mystery solved. It was Matt who sent this <laughs> without a note. Just to freak us out. Uh, excuse me. You don't like Marmite on toast? He's like, I do, try me. Uh, where's the inside of your bed gone? <laughs> what have you done with the inside of your bed? You are so naughty. It's been absolutely chucking itself down with rain all day and it does not look set to stop. So I've got my rain gear on, my wellies on, and I'm taking Toby out for a little walk. We're not gonna get away from the rain, I'm afraid, and you're all gonna have to have a bath but he's desperate to get outside, so let's go. So this is my sad little dinner. I've got two corn burgers, which are the thinnest, most pathetic things in the world, but they are only 80 calories each. Some frozen onions, which I'm frying off with those. And then I've got some brown rice and some frozen vegetables in there with the chicken stock cube. And that's pretty much it. It's depressing, isn't it? How are you nearly one years old? You still look like such a cute little pop star. He's like, Mom, stop talking and give me the dinner stick. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. I'm so tired this morning, don't know why. Um, I went to bed at a decent time. I started to watch 13 Reasons Why on Netflix because you guys recommended it. And it was really good, but it was very good. I only watched one episode, even though I wanted to carry on watching. Um, and I went to bed at like 10 past midnight, which is early for me because I've just not been sleeping very well recently. So yeah, but I still feel absolutely knackered this morning. And it's like nearly nine o'clock, I had a bit of a lion. Oh well. obsessed with these Warburton's thin bagels because they're only like 160 calories per bagel which is really good because bagels are normally very very high in calories um yeah and I just have it with smoked salmon and avocado and a little bit of light cream cheese look at my dirty plate this wouldn't make it to Instagram would it Toby he's like no but maybe it will make it into my belly so exciting Lauren is coming up today to help me film the third and final video why are you not focusing on my face exciting Lauren's coming up today to help me um, film the third and final video for my twinings collection it's amazing um, we haven't seen each other in absolutely ages and we wouldn't have seen each other until my birthday if it wasn't for this so yay for jobs bringing people together um, I'm actually gonna go walk and get her from the train station which she's gonna be so annoyed at because <laughs> believe it or not lose it like Lauren hates walking anywhere she's so rubbish so um, every time I suggest oh well, you know let's walk to the pub or whatever it's only 20 minutes <sighs> So I'm gonna turn up there with Toby. She's like, oh, where's the car? I'm like, at home, we're walking. <laughs> Can't wait to see a little face. Ironically, a lot of her followers often say that I'm a bad influence on her because when she comes up to see me, um, we often have a bottle of wine or we go out for dinner or something and they're like, this friend is not a real friend. She's a really bad influence on you. I'm the one who makes her walk everywhere, guys, and I don't pin her down and force feed her chocolate. She does that all on her own. <laughs> It's all about balance anyway in life, isn't it? If you go and see a friend that you don't see for a while, you probably are gonna have a few glasses of wine, although it's dry April, so probably not. But you probably are gonna eat a bit of crap and sort of treat yourself a little bit. That's what life's all about, balance and having fun. I'm making myself a coffee on the go with the Arachino on my Nespresso machine in my little mug, because otherwise I'll be tempted to stop at Starbucks at the station and they cost a bloody fortune. So what's the point when I've got lovely coffee at home? This Aerochino thing is the best invention 
in the world. It's amazing. It frosts up your milk and heats up for you all at the same time. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Literally could not be more perfect. Right, I'm off. I had a picture of him the other day when he was like the tiniest he was. Like oh. when he was born. Hello. I've got something to tell you. What? We're walking home. <laughs> this pathway comes. We've got matching cameras and matching chilli bottles. Saving the world. Your hair looks amazing. Use the new GHD curve. <laughs> All your crap just spilled around my house. Worst dream last night. I had a dream because I went to this program at birth. I dreamed that I had to have an epidural, but she didn't put it in my spine. She put it on my vagina and it was horrible. Oh yeah, that was the biggest <laughs> Okay. And it was the biggest needle you've ever seen. I was like, are you sure that goes there? And I actually like, you know, and you have a, such a horrible dream, you feel it. Anyway, you're although you're not supposed to feel anything with an epidural, so technically. No, like, you know when you feel something horrible in a dream? Oh yeah. Um, we've just filmed possibly the worst video we've ever filmed together. The Twinings one went quite well, but then we tried to do a and a and it was just rubbish, wasn't it? Yeah, but this is lovely right now, we're laying in the sun. I know. So we're going to watch, uh, we've got half an hour before Lauren's train, so we're going to watch a bit of Come Down With Me. Actually, we have an hour before Lauren's train, but someone wants to walk back to the dreams, do you? Yes, yeah, somebody wants to do exercise. Shock I went horror. on a run today and a walk. Yes. So you should relish more. <laughs> Can I just say, the past couple of days, I've actually been doing a nighttime skincare routine, so it's a bit dark in here, one sec. Um, and it's made the world of difference to my skin and the way I feel just before bed. So I've been using these products. Now this has been in my drawer to try for absolutely ages. <laughs> so bright in here. Um, and it is the Dr. Organic Bioactive virgin olive oil face scrub <laughs> there's a lot of writing on there and i really just started using it but oh my god this thing is incredible like literally they sent me this months and months and months ago i get sent through so much skincare and i don't like to try and change my skincare up too much because my skin is really bad um but this is incredible i've got a bit of a thing about scrubs if they don't feel like they're ripping your skin off <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> what I mean by that is um, I like to be able to feel sort of like the scrubby bits in them. This is brilliant. It's like super, super fine. So it's micro particles of volcanic lava and olive husk powder. It's incredible, but it's also quite nourishing as well. However, I take my makeup off with a makeup wipe. Still using them. Nearly 30. Yeah, no. Use this, and then I am using the new Neome Scent to Sleep Perfect Night Sleep Cleansing Balm. Oh, this stuff smells incredible. Genuinely, it's like full on lavendery. It's just beautiful, and it's got a rose gold thingy. Love it. They sent me this oh, maybe a month ago, and I said, yep, yep, I'll try it. I smelt it, loved it, but I haven't actually been using it. It's incredible, and my face just feels so good, and it like leaves you super, super nourishing. It's like a really thick balm that you have to like rub into your face, and then um, they've got like this double-sided muslin cloth thing, so I use the flannel side to get rid of the scrub, and then the muslin bit for that. My skin just feels incredible. I've used a little thing to put my hair aside and a hair bubble because that's another thing that stresses me out and another reason why I avoid it sounds silly but like if there's like a bit of hair sticking to my wet face I hate it so I've like proper scraped my hair back got rid of it with a band and then just done a proper nighttime skin routine and my face is absolutely loving it so I just thought I'd share So I've been sent the snow teeth whitening system, which I've seen all over Instagram. It's um, that one that you kind of like use with your phone, I think. It's the ones that like you put in your mouth and you turn on, those like luminous ones. Yeah, look, it goes into your phone. That is really cool. So you can literally sit on your phone with that in doing your tea things. Anyway, um, they sent me what well, they asked me if I wanted to give them a go. And normally I use Crest White Strips, but I haven't whitened my teeth in about, pff, I don't know, a year? Maybe a year and a half. Um, and you can never have two whiter teeth. Well, talk to Ryan about that. But um, I really like having white teeth. Um, mine are starting to yellow a little bit just because I'm drinking a lot of coffee at the moment. So I thought I'd give this a go. Now, I think it's supposed to be 
over 20 days 21 days i believe i this is literally the first time i've opened it up so you basically brush your teeth rinse your mouth apply the whitening serum which is this thing in a pen very handy so it doesn't look like messy or anything not splodgy you don't have to put it in there which a lot of them used to connect using the activating light relax for 10 to 16 minutes probably not going to be relaxing is it let's be honest but you know just do its thing for 16 minutes and then disconnect and rinse and that's it and apparently it's yeah it's like you use it for a few weeks and then you'll start to see a difference and they even give you a lip balm how thoughtful is that that's like a real i like that um so i'm going to be giving this a go this isn't sponsored or anything they haven't paid me to do it they just literally sent me the kit on the off chance that i might use it but i'm definitely going to give this a go so i'll um i'll report back with my findings if anybody's interested i'd love to see where my teeth are on this scale oh look and you can yeah before and after so you put the day on. i like this this is a neat little kit i'll um i'll keep you posted guys Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. I look rough as hell <laughs> this morning. I really need to do a face mask. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Yes, today, loads of editing, loads of busy, busy stuff to do. Um, kind of just been full on this morning so far already. Um, we are all waiting with bated breath for the itinerary of our cruise. So one of the, one of the girls, Jane, she's already got it and we're all like, oh my God, share it with us, share it with us. Um, because they're supposed to be sending it through today and we'll find out exactly what we're doing on our cruise next week, which is very exciting. I'm excited to see what they've got planned for my actual birthday um, and whether we've got like a free day. We're probably gonna have like galley tours and all sorts, but I think it's formal nights, so that'll be nice. And yeah, just hoping that it's, um, it's a fun itinerary so we can really get our teeth stuck into all the destinations that we're going to. Um, and then maybe that they give us like a little bit of free time in the evenings. That would be nice just so we could sort of have a drink together and catch up really. Um, so yeah, I will let you know as soon as I know, but it's very exciting. <laughs> Oh my God, best itinerary ever. I'm so excited for this trip. I cannot even tell you. So we're going to the Russian ballet to see Swan Lake when we're in St. Petersburg, which is just incredible. We've got wine pairing. We've got like day tours, organized stuff. We've got free time to explore on our own. On my birthday, we've got a completely free day at sea and we have spa treatments in the afternoon. So I'm going for like a a hot stone massage on my birthday and then the rest of the day is completely free and then we have pre-dinner drinks and then steak night which is just amazing i can't believe it oh it's gonna be so much fun i cannot wait i'm so excited righty ho i'm off pole dancing for the last time in about three weeks i think i'm not gonna be able to make a class um i need to go and get some money out for it I'm gonna eat a banana on the way and yeah just go and dance on a pole do not be fooled by the sunshine, it's actually really chilly but um, it's still quite nice that the sun's out, it feels quite fresh and also how awesome is it that it's still light at like 7pm at night, oh bring on summer. everybody happy friday the weather is vile outside today so i have decided that i'm going to stay inside in my pjs for pretty much most of the day so i've got like loads of editing and last minute things to sort out for the week just to round things off um i think i can get it done hope i can get it done yeah feel good um, and i'm waiting on quite a few deliveries actually that are coming through for different jobs so hopefully they'll arrive It'd be typical, wouldn't it? The day that I actually stay in for all the deliveries when they're meant to be here, I bet you they'll turn up tomorrow when I'm not here. Um, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Morning, everybody. It's the morning of my Bumble event. I'm just about to head there now. I've got my Bumble jumper on. Feeling snazzy. I'm not feeling snazzy. It's way too early. I always think that 7 a.m. On a, on a weekend is pretty early if you haven't got kids. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to leave you here because I'm going to get cracking. And yeah, hopefully it's going to be a good one. So I'll chat to you after. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely incredible. I loved that event. Now, there weren't that many people turned up that should have done. I think we were missing about 10. Um, and those people have really missed out because oh, this Lisa run was just incredible. I feel so... 
I, it was just, I can't even explain it. It was just so good. It was so good. I wrote so many notes. I think I wrote more notes in that hour workshop than I wrote in my entire three years at uni. <laughs> like she was just so good. And it was really, really motivational. And she's actually doing um, another thing in Birmingham, not to do with Bumble, um, but she was that good that like load of us are gonna go to that on the 12th of May. You can find it on Eventbrite if you're in Birmingham. Um, it's like a women empowerment kind of like afternoon. Uh, yeah, it's just, oh, it's amazing. And she's done like a special offer for all the Bumble users. It's, it's just really great. I just feel like I can do anything. So I am on my way home trying to get through Birmingham traffic. Um, and I'm actually off to the cinema this afternoon. So I'm going to leave you at home um, because I'm going home from Birmingham and then I'm going to come back into Birmingham and go to Everyman Cinema. Absolutely love it there. It's so nice. And we're going to go and see the new Avengers film. So yeah, very much looking forward to that. And I'm going to have an afternoon off from vlogging. So I shall see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. My skin is so bad. Oh my goodness, I've proper broken out. Um, yeah, Avengers was really good, although quite depressing. <laughs> like, it wasn't what I expected. But then again, I haven't read uh, the comic book, so if I had, I would have known what was coming. Um, yeah, I had a really nice time. Love the Everyman cinema. Absolutely love it. Uh, Toby has eaten the tail off his squirrel toy, which is massive. Um, I thought he was just ripping it to pieces and I looked down and the tail was completely gone. So hopefully that passes through uh, because otherwise that's going to be a very expensive vet bill. And I think he ate a pair of pants as well. I don't know what's gotten into him. I think he needs to go on a big WALK today. Um, but my mummy's coming over. Um, again, I think she's coming over because it's Toby's birthday tomorrow, not because it's mine in a, a week on Wednesday. <laughs> but uh, she's coming over so we'll probably take him. Hey, leave that. Now he's getting fluff out of his bed. Um, yeah, I'll probably take him for a big WALK, and then I think I'm finally getting my mum pottery painting, which will be nice. Um, yeah, she's been sort of dodging the question for a while, <laughs> so I'm like, right, we're going today, I'll pay. Because uh, I really need to work on my vase and have a cup of tea with some cake. That was really lovely, spending time with mum, um, and she had a great time. She painted this uh, little cupcake holder thingy magic. <laughs> it's like a cupcake shaped little treasure box I suppose so you can put like earrings in it and stuff. Um, she had a really good time I think, I hope. Um, my dad's not very well so unfortunately he couldn't come over so we were, she's taken him a slice of cake back as well because they do amazing cakes there. So uh, yeah it was really nice. Um, tonight I'm going uh, to a Disney themed pub quiz with Lucy. I am so tired, like genuinely I'm so tired. I've got, going in about two hours, I'm tempted to have a little bit of a nap. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just absolutely exhausted. I feel, oof, gone. Um, yeah, and I'm still, still working on my bloody vase. It's gonna take forever, but um, yeah, Lizzie wants to go and paint some more pots on Tuesday, so I was like, you know what? I will keep coming until this vase is gone. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone and finished. You watch, I'll spend like months on it and then it'll explode in the kiln or something. Oh, it's been a really, really lovely Sunday. I am gonna keep recording this vlog uh, until tomorrow because it's obviously Toby's birthday tomorrow. So um, I thought I'd do a few little bits on his actual birthday tomorrow and then round it off there because after that, I won't see you for a couple of weeks because I am going away on my cruise um, and then it will be the week after, but obviously I'll be filming. It's like, it falls over two weeks, doesn't it, the cruise? So I go on Wednesday, so this week and next week, no vlog. Oh well, I'm sure you'll survive. <laughs> I've got some other videos planned anyway for you while I'm away, so hopefully um, you'll enjoy watching those. And uh, yeah, next time I vlog, I'll be 30 years old. Bloody hell, that's depressing, isn't it? Look at the really cute card that my mum made for Toby on his birthday. <laughs> and she got him doggy beer and some little uh, woofins, which are like dog muffins and some like rocky road and a toy and this like squishy banana, which he is absolutely loving. I don't know where it is. He seems I ran off with it. But how cute is that? I am bloody frozen. I'm literally in a scarf and stuff. I'm gonna have to put like another layer on. I'm turning the heating up. It's gone so, so cold. It's ridiculous. Bring back the sunshine. Uh, we only went and bloody won, yeah. didn't we? 
Well, that was pretty interesting. We genuinely didn't think we had won. We were doing pretty well and then we kind of failed in sort of the last round and got quite a few wrong. So we just genuinely weren't expecting to win. And then we did. <laughs> there was about 25 teams there and it was ridiculous. And they announced our name and we were like, oh my God, we've won, can't believe it. Um, and then we had to walk through the entire, um, uh, had to walk through the entire room and everyone was just staring at us because it was just two of us. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and celebrate with my 40 quid winning. Good morning everybody, happy Monday. So I wouldn't normally be vlogging today, but it's a very special day because it's Toby's first birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday. You're one years old today. That's very exciting. You look like you don't care. You didn't even told off today because I woke up to the sound of him eating a pair of my pants. So um, yeah, he's <laughs> being a little asshole. A little bit of the asshole. Should we get you a birthday cake? Grandma got you lots of birthday cake, didn't she? Do you want one? Go in there. So he had his big one yesterday, but we've got some little ones as well. <laughs> the big one lasted all of about five seconds. So this one is gonna be down in two chomps. Are you ready, birthday boy? You ready? Gently. Oh, is that nice? Put your brain away. <laughs> oh, don't you eat that in the bedroom. Crumbs on the floor. Ugh. I feel like I'm coming down with the world's worst cold ever. Uh, my throat feels like it's got pins and needles in it, which is great because Lauren was ill last week and she's completely lost her voice and now i'm just like oh my god i feel like got sore throat not what i need before i jumped off on wednesday but never mind um so i've got a really busy day today i'm actually filming a video for a brand which i'm very excited for hopefully you're gonna really really like it um but yeah i'm gonna crack on with that and crack on editing the weekly vlog for you guys was that nice He's like, yes please, where's the next one? You don't have a nook, so the next one, but you can have a banana. Here you go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, banana. <laughs> um, she also got him a doggy beer, so you can have a beer later as well. Oh, such a special, special day. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna crack on with all of that stuff and hopefully take him out for a big WALK. It might take him to pets at home as well. Not that he really needs anything, but I think I'm just gonna get him like a new collar for walks and stuff, like not a really fancy one. He's got two fancy ones already, but just one that doesn't matter if it gets a bit grubby. Um, Cause the one that's already like that is very grubby and it's starting to fray, so. And that's why I'll get him. A bit of a boring mum present, that one. It's like buying your child socks because they need them, <laughs> not because they want them. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. The weather is actually okay today. So, yeah, I might go out for a walk. Might be nice for everybody in, involved. Um, but, yeah, I'll try and catch up with you a little bit later um, and then put all this together into a vlog. The last one before I go away. Sad times, but uh, I am getting very excited now. Also need to book my airport parking. Crap, I've not done that. Right guys, so I'm at the end of editing this week's weekly vlog and I need to just stick this in so we can sign it off. So I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching. The birthday boy is having a very chilled out birthday. <laughs> um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching my rambles. Next time I see you for a weekly vlog, I will be 30 years old. How insane is that? Um, but yeah, we have Wi-Fi on the cruise, so... Um, I will be able to get all your messages and stuff on my actual birthday while I'm just sat in my room drinking champagne and then going for my massage. Incredible. It's worked out so, so well. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram um, at xameliarex. All the information's down below. You can come and follow my cruise with me for the next uh, 11 days or 12 days or whatever it is. I'm so excited to go, uh, but I've got lots and lots still to do today. So I'm going to finish this off now. And yeah, I will catch up with you in a few weeks time. Bye! <laughs>
picked up a little bit. Haven't you? Hey? <laughs> and I could do with them um, hoovering as well. Oh. If you don't turn up, I'm eating your cake. Because I'm only bloody giving away a pair of tickets to see Katy Perry. Would you go? Guaranteed you would. Nearly walking into a bush. Thanks for telling me.